Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a collective. We see what messages Spirit has for the collective at this time. Okay, There's a lot going on here. Okay, so let's see what messages does Spirit have for the collective. What messages does Spirit have for the collective? Collective messages, please. What's the most important message at this time, Spirit? What's the most important messages at this time, Spirit? What does the collective need to know most at this time? Make sure y'all protect me, our energy. That's a real clown ass, mad ass motherfuckers, okay, out here. I love my beautiful flowers. My baby got me. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. Get your boot at by your flowers constantly, okay? All the time. I love flowers. All right. So let's see. Messages for the collective. What's the messages? For the collective here. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm kind of getting here an energy of, of, of heartbreak, sadness. There's a separation here or a breakup, there's an ending or something. Someone's really missing you or you're really missing someone. Yeah, there's an ending. Something is over. And I feel like it's really causing somebody to be heartbroken here. This could be somebody that's literally like leaned over the table or leaned over at the bar, head down in their arm, literally like crying, sad, just feeling very, very much heartbroken here. Two, two, two. So this is you or this is someone else, okay? Yeah, something's over here. Okay, there's a breakup and ending. The, the world card, a cycle is over. So yeah, that something is complete, okay? I'm getting like leaving out of a situation here, leaving one situation behind. There was lies or deception. Yeah, the high, high priestess Pisces energy. There was lies, deception, heartbreak. I feel like somebody is also heartbroken because maybe you know the truth here. The high priestess knows, just period. This could be a psychic or the high priestess is just your intuition. The high priestess knows literally everything, but they don't reveal everything they know. It just is what it is. They're not supposed to do that. Yeah, the magician. Okay. In the moon. Yeah, this is, yeah. The high, priest, high priestess magician in the moon. Okay. Could be an Aries or a Cancer here. But there is some hidden shit with the moon and the high priestess. There's some secrets or some hidden shit that has been going on. Infidelities, a mistress, a third party situation. Okay, somebody's moving on from that. I also feel like somebody could have dabbled in something to cause some kind of... Somebody was doing something behind the scenes here. Okay, but I do feel like there's an energy of... of uh, someone's missing a Pisces or an air sign. Could be a Libra or it could be any damn sign. An Aries or a Cancer. But there's a... Um, I feel like somebody really regrets this lie, this third party situation or whatever, whatever took place here. Somebody's really regretful or, or heartbroken. Yeah, the tower. I, I just get an energy where somebody is really trying to cause a breakup here, trying to get someone to move on from someone or someone did this already. I feel like somebody really played on somebody's shit here. Okay, really did some fucked up shit. Yeah, the Eight of Swords, spell work. The Magician, the Eight of Swords, the Tower, and the Moon card. Somebody did some kind of spell work, some kind of sabotage work, some kind of ending. Somebody did this. Yeah, you already know that they did. Ace of Swords, you have clarity and truth. I feel like somebody was tricked. I feel like somebody was tricked here. They was made to feel like um, somebody has their best interests or that somebody, I don't know. 
but somebody has definitely dabbled in some shit here that uh really caused an ending here okay or someone's trying to do this all right i'm getting you aware of this all right Okay, here we go with this shit. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, we have the uh, Palace of Swords. So this could be, yeah. I feel like somebody's uh, watching you really heavy here. Yeah, the Three of Cups. This could be several people. I feel like somebody thought or they feel like they caused a breakup and they're laughing about it. I really feel like somebody here is laughing or in cahoots with several people causing an ending, a breakup. Somebody just doesn't want to see you happy or this is your ass, okay? Somebody's just extremely jealous of your happiness, of what you have, that you're loved, and they funky ass is not, okay? All right, so somebody definitely has been trying to dabble several people with the palace of swords. Someone's watching you obsessively as well. Someone's missing you and watching you obsessively here. So somebody could be very intuitive, very psychic. Okay. Yeah, the Three of Cups, Knight of Cups. Somebody wants to reconcile and apologize. Somebody is watching you like crazy. I'm talking about like stalking. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Someone's going to rush in here and give you some kind of offer. Yeah, the Two of Cups. Yep. This could be somebody fair-skinned and somebody could be a little bit like darker, melanated. And then you have a fair-skinned person. Okay. That's significant here for some reason. A brown skin, a darker skin, like my tone, skin tone, and then somebody that is lighter skinned. That's significant here. Okay, that's very, very significant. Something about the beach. Maybe somebody's reminiscing about the beach. Maybe there was a connection or love. I'm seeing somebody here with very, very long eyelashes, beautiful long eyelashes. Okay, beautiful um, eyes here. But somebody wants to reconcile, date you, bring something back in. Three of Swords is the is uh, strongest energy out because it's the first card out. So somebody is crying or missing you. Sometimes Three of Swords is not always crying or missing. It could be a betrayal and lies. A third party with these two threes and the High Priestess, a secret about a love interest or a lie or a third party, a mistress or whatever the fuck this is. But something was found out here with the Palace of Swords or something was said, okay? But I feel like somebody's stalking and watching you really, really heavy here, okay? They want to, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody wants to offer you something, give you something. They want this relationship with you. They want to heal it. Somebody could be planning something here. What is the Two of Cups planning to come towards you? Okay, somebody definitely could be planning. Let's see. What's the Two of Cups? What is the Two of Cups here? All right, there it is. This is a lot of cards. Yeah, this is, um. okay, so yeah, this could definitely be a missed opportunity here. All right, okay. There, there, there's, a, there's a lack of confidence or courage here to move something forward. I mean, there's a, a missed opportunity for sure. This could also be somebody that owes you money. Yeah, the seven of cups. So this person, there is there is either a breakdown in something. Something's not moving forward. Something is not stable. Okay, or maybe you see this person as, as not. Maybe somebody feels like they don't have much to offer you. Or maybe you feel like this person doesn't have much to offer you. It could be a Cancer or a Pisces. But this is definitely a missed opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that is not stable, somebody that lacks courage, somebody that could be very immature with the chariot in the reverse, somebody that's not sure of themselves. Okay. And I feel like, yeah, somebody that keeps a lot of secrets and holds a lot of shit, but you're aware with the High Priestess and the Page of Swords. I mean, Palace of Swords. You're very much aware. Yeah, the Seven of Cups and Five of Swords. Okay. And the Four of Cups. Somebody also feels really defeated because they were living in illusions or, or, or doing something here that caused them to lose you, caused them to lose a lot of money, caused them to maybe lose their car. This is somebody that has. Truly not made the best decision here and, and has lost out. Yeah, the page of cups is in the reverse. So there's an offer here that's not going to be given. Or there's not going to be any communication. Or the, the Page of Cups is broken promises, man. I feel like this is what somebody gives you. Yeah, the magician could be an Aries. Somebody here is very manipulative. 
they say whatever they need to say to get to get with you or they give you a lot of broken promises they they say they do a lot but but it's not what it is or it's, it or it's an, an if it's not an aries it could be a cancer yeah the page of cups again in the reverse broken promises a lot a very immature energy here and i'm getting like somebody could regret it somebody could yeah regret this for sure uh because things aren't moving ahead here okay there could also be blocks in, in, or lack in communication with a child here or some kind of money owed for a child or something like that. But something is just blocked or it's not moving ahead. Something is just not moving because of, of whatever the fuck this is, okay? Let's see. Yeah, the higher fine in the reverse. Yeah. There's a lack of respect. This could be a divorce for some of you, not everybody, but there's a missed opportunity there's a there there's a break in um because the higher fund is devotion that's commitment that's being honest and on, honest and truthful that's also contracts so I feel like a um a con contractual agreement has been broken okay there was a lot of promises the higher fund is big promises somebody broke them somebody did not stand in their promises or somebody's going to do this or they did or whatever. Okay, time is uh, fluid, so it's different. If it hasn't happened already, it's happening now or it's going to. But there's been a real lack of trust here and commitment or something and loyalty in a connection here. So therefore, it's not moving forward. That's why this Three of Swords came out first and the world was at the bottom first. Something is over. Okay, and this could do, be due to a third party, somebody not able to make a decision or somebody making the wrong decision has caused a break in something here. Okay, I feel like there is a lack of, of fucking respect. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, very burdened, feeling very heavy and feeling very much weighed down. If you're some kind of psychic or something, this person is watching you very heavily here. But there is delays. There could be car issues as well, but there's some kind of delays here. If somebody's promising to come see you, they're not going to do that. There's some kind of obstacles or delays or they're just giving you false promises or whatever the fuck this is, okay? Somebody is not stable with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse and they're not committed with the higher fund in the reverse. This is somebody that will break every last fucking promise that they give you, okay? Yeah. We have the Ace of Cups, Four of Wands, okay? So this could be a new love that's coming in for some of you. What's the Three of Swords? Yeah, this person is really feeling... Like a lack, like a missed opportunity here. I feel like this person could have options or had options or whatever, but none of them are fulfilling. None of them is you. I feel like this person, they, they could be literally in front of other people, chilling with them, hanging with them, doing whatever. And they think about you. They want you. They want to work it out. They're sorry or, or they, they, I don't know. I just feel like, yeah, the temperate Sagittarius energy here, Pisces could be a Taurus here as well or a Cancer, okay? But it could be any sign or somebody could have one of those signs highly aspected, okay? But um, yeah, the temperance. So there's a lot of waiting. Somebody is like waiting and watching. There's also a telepathic connection between the two of you. Somebody's like waiting and watching, watching. Wanted to come in, but I feel like an opportunity is missed. Something is missed here with that Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Something is not stable. I'm also getting a, a contract that is false or a contract that is not going so well at all. Okay. What's the temperance? There's, there's like a real energy here of, um, I don't know, just waiting or not, or wanting or not wanting to. Yeah, the five of swords and the seven of swords and the nine of swords. A lot of mind games, okay, bullshit or whatever the fuck this is going on. There seems to be, yeah, confusion. I feel like there's a lot of confusion in mind games or somebody's trying to create that here. I feel like you want peace and balance in your world. There could be several people trying to do this. 
okay? I feel like that, that you, you're too intuitive or you're just too smart. You 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 can't be controlled or, or confused or any of that. Yeah, we have the Tower and the Magician and the Seven of Cups and the Moon. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying here, okay? With the Moon Cancer energy, we have the Magician Aries energy. We have the Tower Scorpio energy and the Seven of Cups. There's somebody here that's really trying to create confusion in your life, but you are well aware of what's going on with the high priestess. Somebody's doing a lot behind the scenes and they sit back and wait to see if the results are working. But I feel like with the moon in the set, there's a lot of secrets and confusions and illusions that are going on here. Or there has been a lot. I feel like somebody has been doing spell work, a lot of it, to confuse somebody or to get somebody to break their commitment to someone. Like real talk. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm, I'm, I'm going to really say this to you motherfuckers because it's just really sad that you would spend this type of time and energy on trying to end something in somebody else's fucking life. Who puts this much time and effort trying to ruin somebody else's shit? Who puts this much time and effort into this? You got to be sad and pathetic. I'm a Leo moon. Leos are fearless, but I, I don't fear shit. But one thing on earth, one thing I do fear is God. And God is karma. I fear that bitch karma and it's all the same. You have to be careful with what you're doing. When you're doing spell work to be wicked, to be hateful, to get back at people, to break people up, to cause confusion, to do whatever it is you want to do because you just simply hate them or you want to see them down or out or, or lose. You're going to be the one that loses pussy. You motherfuckers out here that do this, you have rotten souls. And I don't give a fuck how you feel about it. You're a rotten person in your soul. In your life, I'm, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure that it reflects that. Okay. You know the motherfuckers who are out here doing right because they life reflected. They're happy. They're abundant. They look beautiful. They shine from the inside out. You know the motherfuckers who 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 on it. Who lives who lives a straight up life. I'm a double Libra. Everything has to be balanced for me. I, I that's just naturally what I'm going to do is, is is make things fair and balanced. And this type of shit is not. You're going to pay for that. You want, you're willing to be down and out, blocked, lose money, be unhappy, get sick, possibly meet your demise just to get back at somebody else. Somebody, that, that person must have a whole lot of power over you, man. And it ain't nobody on this motherfucking earth that's going to have that much power over me. Seven of Wands, okay? That's a backfire. Something is going to backfire here, just period, with this Tower Seven of Wands. Somebody's constantly trying to put you in a state of confusion and illusions. Somebody did this to cause a breakup in your life. This could be, because I saw the Six of Cups, this could be somebody from the past. Yep, there it is again, confirmation. You feel me? There it is again. So that's confirmation. Somebody from the past, somebody that you dealt with or that you were in a relationship with. Yeah, the Three of Swords is an X as well. And that's the first card out plus the Six of Cups right here. So this is somebody that you were familiar with. Somebody that... that um that maybe came off like a friend or came off like something, but somebody here is wicked as fuck. And they don't want to see you win or don't want to see you have shit. They're trying to steal all your opportunities from you. The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, the horrifying in the reverse. Somebody is trying to pull, to get you to lose respect or to be seen a certain way. Somebody here is really on some fuck shit, man. This is really low. Yeah, the Five of Swords. And this is, this is strictly out of hate. And jealousy. Somebody keeps trying to sabotage you. Somebody's projecting fear on you, worry. Somebody's trying to steal from you, confuse you, confuse you so they can steal from you. Somebody could have even stole from you and did some kind of spell to confuse you or make you think it wasn't them. But you know, high priestess, you also know that karma is on their ass. The high priestess sits back. She don't sit up, do all that. She just knows. Sometimes it's best she don't reveal everything so she can have the upper hand at all times. But somebody's doing something malicious here with the Five of Swords Tower and this fucking magician, Seven of Cups Moon. They're doing this behind the scenes. This could be somebody you're involved with, with the Two of Cups that you're in a relationship with. It doesn't have to be for everybody. Now somebody's worried because you could see through the veil or you could see through the confusion or the lies. I saw the Two of Swords with this Nine of Swords. Somebody's worried or shook now. 
because they can't confuse you or you see through the veil or you see through the illusions that they're trying to create around you. Or for others of you, you need to see through the illusion. You need to wake the fuck up and see something for what the fuck it is and not for what somebody made you think it is. Because there's a lot of secrets. There's a lot of moons. I just It's not even the, the moon card. It's just moons on certain cards, which, which is indicative of secrets and things going on behind the scenes. Spiritual warfare. Things that people have been doing behind the scenes. It's a fucking Sagittarius. It's a Cancer in Aries. Or a motherfucking um, Taurus. It could be any yeah, the Five of Wands. There it is. Somebody is so gun ho on competing with you. They sit back and try to cause delays and opportunities to be missed for you in love and money. And then they sit back and laugh about it. Ten of Cups. This is somebody you could have considered a friend. Okay, or that came off like that. They came off trustworthy. They're not. They're laughing at your ass. They're doing shit behind the scenes and they're laughing. We have the devil. There it is. Could be a Capricorn. Somebody here dabbles into fucking dark shit. And that's just what it is. Somebody does dark shit. They dabble into dark shit. They, they, this is just what they do. Okay. A lot of competition and jealousy, hate, and envy. This could come from a lot of people. Okay, but the three of swords is a loss or a breakup or a missed opportunity. This could also be due because the moon is our shadow side. Somebody needs to do shadow work. Somebody like set moon and seven of cups is next to each other. Somebody here lives in a life of maybe drinking a lot, a lot of addictions, a lot of shadow work. Somebody here is easily tricked or beguiled. This is somebody that really needs to work on themselves, man, because this this is delays. The chariot in the reverse is delays. Ace of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's doing spell work on all parts of your life. And I feel like because somebody will not elevate and raise their energy, they will, they will, they, they won't see shit for what it is. It's causing them lack and loss and heartbreak and sadness repeatedly because somebody just will not get it. And you don't have to, but this is how your life is going to be, guaranteed. Okay. Somebody here needs to pull away from motherfuckers and not be dealing with everybody, dealing with folks, man. Yeah, we have the emperor here. It could be an Aries. Somebody needs to boss the fuck up. Period, point blank. Just period. Because this is real. This is real. This is, yeah. So for a lot of you, you could be doing well in your career, okay, with the sun card, six of wands, and the, and the palace of pentacles. I'm getting a beautiful home or a lot of money, a large savings account, a lot of recognition and success. A lot of abundance around you. A lot of growth. This could be in your business. Somebody could be jealous of your business or that you're doing your fucking thing here. That you're shining really bright. Somebody could be upset about that. What's the emperor? Let me see if any cards. Yeah, the nine of cups. Getting what you want. Yeah, the emperor. Living in a life of luxury. Getting what you want. There seems to be a lot of drinking here going on too, which needs to cut out. Yeah, we have the nine of wands. Okay, somebody's irritated. Yeah, the star in the reverse and the world card. So something is over. There's no hope here with the star in reverse, no hope. Nine of wands is being tired, being lost. I feel like somebody is just way down in their energy. Somebody repeats the same cycles with the star card in the reverse. Then they're disappointed when shit does not work out in their favor or when shit doesn't go because somebody refuses to change and grow. Stop living in delusions and confusion. Yeah, the Six of Wands. And there it is, the Palace of Pentacles. You're living your life. There's a lot of people who's upset about that. Okay, because you're successful. You're living your life. Your career is going well. You're doing your motherfucking thing, man. Getting money. Look, looking good. Yeah, I was about to say that. I felt the Nine of Pentacles would show up. You're single. You're self-sufficient. You're living your life, man. You're unencumbered with the Fool card. You have nothing holding you back. You're free to do what the fuck you want. You're abundant. You're successful. Nine of Cups is making it. That next to the, you're also very pretty. There's something very pretty about someone. You're also highly intelligent with the Queen of Swords. You could be a beast or the best at what you do. There's people here that don't want to see this. They don't want to see you be happy in a relationship. They don't want to see you have love, be successful. But I'm getting you are. And I'm not only getting that you, you're doing very well in your career and your life now, but you're also going to take it to new levels here as well. Yeah, justice. You're going to get justice for this. Could be a Libra. And the Empress is here. Could be a double Libra. Okay. With the Page of Swords and the Sun. Yeah. 
Definitely getting, definitely doing, yeah, the nine of wands and the star. Somebody's annoyed and frustrated. They're also intimidated by your intellect or how smart you are or how bright you shine or how successful you are or whatever. Or that you're taking your place in the world. You're doing your fucking thing. Somebody comes, somebody, somebody literally, they surround their life around watching you and seeing what you have going on. Somebody's like obsessed with you, dog, to the point where it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, you've mastered something here. Yeah, the King of Swords. I'm also really like, there, there's an energy here with the Justice and the King of Swords. Because I pulled the Queen of Swords out. But I just feel like um, there's an energy here where you, 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 so the Queen of Swords. When you see the King of Swords, if you're dealing with a, a female uh Queen of Swords, when you see the King of Swords, that, that, that means that this person has grown. They have passed the synonym that is in the Queen of Swords to the King of Swords. Somebody that's very logical, somebody that sees things for what it is and they remove their emotions out of it. I'm getting, that's what you are, justice here. You're just and fair. You're balanced. You're intelligent. You see through the illusion. Somebody or people keep trying to do this to you. And look at it. As I said, it, Ace of Swords, you have too much clarity. Somebody wants you to see something in a different way and you're not. You see it for what it is. Or if somebody was able to pay, put illusions and shit around you, they're not able to do that shit no fucking more. It's like, it's like, it's, it's, it's clarity being gained here. Yeah. You see, somebody thought they was pulling the wool over your eyes. Two of swords, Libra energy. They thought that they were confusing you, but you see through it. This veil is see-through. It's not cloth where you can't see shit. It's see-through. You still see. You may even pretend it for a time being that you could not see, but you do. And you have and you always will. You're not going to be confused. You're not going to be tricked or any of that. I feel like somebody here is also waking up to illusion somebody created around them or something like that or confusion or somebody's like, damn. Something's going to backfire here with this seven of wands, though. Or you block this person. You don't want, com want communication. You don't want their apology. The page of cups in reverse literally also means, okay, that it's somebody that gives broken promises, somebody that presents themselves as very sweet, very loving, very caring, but somebody has an evil streak to them. And somebody knows just what to say to get what they want with the page of cups in reverse. That's just what the fuck it is. Somebody could be realizing that an offer that they wanted to give to somebody they don't anymore because somebody could be coming out of illusion, seeing something or someone for what the fuck it is. Just period. Because it's time. You have to. Or you, that's how you get hurt is allowing everybody that, that says something to you or whatever to and, and you believe it. That's how you get hurt. That No. You have to wake up and see shit for what the fuck it is. And somebody's like angry or several people. Somebody really wants to compete with you. Yeah, the death card is over. This, I was going to ask, what's the five of swords and five of wands? The competition, the jealousy, the, all that shit is over. Scorpio energy could be a Scorpio. The jealousy, the competition, the trying to sneak and trick you, beguile you, steal from you, all that is over. I'm getting you're blocking someone out or you're putting someone out or it's just, it's just fucking over. Yeah, the five of cups. Now somebody's sad. Five, five, five is here. Somebody's petty as fuck too. Now they're sad or they lost you or they missed out on you because they they betray you or they, yeah, now the five, now, yeah, now we got five, 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 every five of the deck. Petty, low vibe energy, okay? It's, it's, it's over. Now somebody's lost or, or, or they're feeling out in the cold. They're missing you. They feel like, you know, I feel like somebody went against you or they betray you. And whatever this fuck this is, somebody, I feel, I feel like somebody betray you, man, in the worst fucking way. And I feel like with that justice here, somebody's going to pay in that world car a cycle. And now the wheel. So we have that there, there, there is that there, you're going to learn. And if you don't learn, your life is going to be very, very miserable. What is the three of swords? So you know about this lie, this secret, this whatever the fuck this is. You know about it and they know you know. Okay. So yeah, the um, empress, this could be about a pregnancy or a mistress. Or a Pisces or a Libra. What's the three of swords? But there is that somebody here is very, very much. Yeah, the judgment. Yep. Yeah. There's that other card of karma. 
Somebody is under judgment. Somebody is feeling very weighed down and heavy and burdened by the higher ups. The judgment is the higher ups doing this, calling judgment down upon somebody's actions or lies because the three of swords is a huge betrayal. It's a huge lie. Somebody knows you know about it and they're being judged for it. I also feel like this is an awakening. Yeah, the hangman and the judgment. I feel like somebody's having an awakening or seeing something. For Somebody's going through a transformation with the death card here too. Seeing stuff for what it is. That this is not, yeah, this is, mm -mm. okay. Yeah, eight of cups. Somebody's realizing they need to walk away from certain people, places, and things that are not serving them. Let that shit fucking go. So that you can have what you deserve in life. I feel like the universe is delaying because the hangman could be a delay as well. Pisces energy, a reconciliation because somebody has not grown or somebody's on some fuck shit and they don't see things for what it is. And they and they're not they can't be a part of your life in that energy. It just is what it is. Somebody's going to have to go. Yeah. You have the Palace of Wands in the reverse, which in the upright could be about wands is sex, sexual stuff, uh, you know, lust, or it could be chemistry or whatever. But somebody's going to have to let go of the sleeping around. Maybe somebody likes to have several options or they're very lustful. Or they're easily seduced. They're going to have to let that go with the Palace of Wands in reverse. Judgment is being called down upon somebody's decisions. It's being called to see stuff from a different perspective. Stop being impulsive, knight of swords, just making decisions off, just doing it and having third parties, three of cups and doing all this. Somebody, it's time for somebody to grow up. You don't have to, but you're going to, there's going to be delays in your life moving forward in every way until you see something for what the fuck it is. It just is what it is. There, there, there needs to be a healing or an exchange here. And it needs to happen immediately. Yeah, the nine of wands being tired. This is being beat. The nine of wands is Sagittarius energy being beat down. Repeating the same cycles, going through the same shit, not learning. Okay? It's, that shit is over. Somebody needs to let the same way of thinking, the same bullshit go. It's not helping in any fucking way. It's not... For like somebody hid something here or yeah, the will of fortune and the ten of cups to get that, that emotional fulfillment. You're going to have to go through a shift and a change in your life or it's not going to be able to come in for you. But there's a missed opportunity here uh, because of. Whatever the fuck this is. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, there was a betrayal here. The Three of Swords, Ten of Swords here, and a separate. There was a lies and betrayal, huge, and a connection. Like I said, with a melanated person and maybe a more fair-skinned person, as y'all seen when I showed you the Two of Cups, there, there was a betrayal here. There was lies and secrets about feelings for someone or a, a, a pregnancy that happened outside the fucking uh, marriage or connection or long-term commitment or whatever the fuck it is, okay? But something, something, yeah, the empress. I feel like somebody's pregnant or somebody got somebody pregnant outside or someone betrayed somebody with a Libran or possibly a, a with the higher font here, a Taurus or, or something. Somebody betrayed somebody and they're going to, and they're going to soon regret that. Yeah, the empress. Now, yeah, there it came out. There it is. Somebody's definitely pregnant or somebody got somebody pregnant. A huge betrayal here or there's something about a Libran. Okay. Yeah, the four swords. There's another card of Libra. This could be bed rest after a child is wet, well or after some kind of surgery. All right. Maybe you're feeling back to yourself. Yeah, you're healing. I was about to say you're feeling back to yourself after a surgery. So this could be some kind of surgery that you recently had. You're going to recover fully from that. It's going to heal uh, beautif beautifully here. But I'm getting like, even though you have the star card, okay, Aquarius energy. I'm getting like, even though somebody betrayed you, you still the empress, you're still beautiful, refined, elegant, and graceful. You've healed, you've moved forward because you understand karma. You know that justice, what goes around, comes around. You are well aware of that. 
And, and as I said that, the wheel of fortune showed up. So that's confirmation. There it is. That's the karmic wheel. What goes around comes around. I feel like somebody was lying or holding on and keeping somebody a secret here. A Aquarius, Libra, the Taurus, whoever the fuck it was that they were holding on to. They were keeping that a secret. Okay. Yeah. The Knight of Cups. Yeah. So somebody's going, now somebody seeing you as their wish or somebody wants to apologize to you. Yeah. The lovers. Okay. And the Page of Wands, Palace of Cups, Eight of Cups. I feel like somebody's like in love with someone or something like that. Or somebody um, couldn't make a choice or or something. Yeah, the devil card in the reverse. So a lot of what's the devil in the reverse? Yeah, this is a lot of dark shit going on. I feel like somebody has been infiltrating a connection through spell work. Trying to confuse someone, beguile them or trick them or whatever. What's the, um, what's the devil card in the reverse? Or get somebody to walk away from somebody? Or or to or or and to come back to them or or I don't know what's the devil card in the reverse but there's definitely been something going on here yeah the eight of pentacles yeah uh, or somebody could also be trying to release these addictions work on themselves okay I feel like somebody needs to work on self love work on themselves and to release addictions here what's the devil card in the reverse with the eight of pentacles. Last one, devil card in the reverse, Capricorn energy with the ace of pentacles. Yeah, the king of cups. It's, yeah, there's a lot of drinking. There's time. Yeah, the four of swords. It's time for healing and self-love. Yeah, the eight of wands, four of pentacles. It's time to focus on yourself, focus on working on yourself, healing these addictions and letting this shit go, man. Okay, because this is not going to work. Four of swords is the overall energy. Let me grab. This one is calling me to do this one. Okay. So let's see here. Give me a couple cards right here. There's a real need to change and let go of the situation here. There's a lot of drama, chaos, and bullshit going on. Somebody has a lot of attachments to them. And a lot of cord cutting they need to do. And spiritual work they need to do. And, and release so they can elevate and go to the next point in their life. Or at least so they can possibly reconcile or heal a situation with whoever this person is that they're wanting to reconcile here with. Okay? What's the star, the knight of cups, and the empress? But somebody is seeing you as the one for them. They want to make an offer towards you. They're, uh, they're in love with you here. But I feel like somebody could have betrayed you or lied or they did something here. They could have betrayed you. Yeah. We have engagement ring. It says engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. Okay. So, yeah, that wanted to come out in the reverse. Somebody could want to propose to you or they see life with you. But I feel like something was broken here. That's why the higher fund is, is in reverse. Something was broken here. Yeah, ascending is here in the reverse. It says transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Yeah. Something, somebody just really betray you with that Ten of Swords. Something may not come back into, yeah, Twin Flame. Jean Yang, Zen, Balance, Union, Dual, Decoupling, and, and um, Compliment Each Other, and Chaser. Now somebody wants to chase you. It says Codependent Relationship, Fear of Abandonment Issues. Yeah. Somebody is uh, very much addicted to you, very much codependent on your energy, very much. This could be a Twin Flame connection. Somebody betray you for, I don't know, what the fuck. Yeah. Now we have the Boat card. Yep, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. I mean, you're moving on, you're healing, you're loving yourself. Somebody else is having a hard time with that. Yeah, the sword and rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, power, protection, and honor. You have the truth. That's that ace of swords right here. And you're moving on. You have the power to move on. You don't want to play. You feel betrayed. Or somebody else does. Pick what side of the shit you on. All right, let's get one more or two more. To clarify this energy. All right. We have acts. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. That's that three of swords. Three of swords. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're not with the karmic relationships. You're not with any of that. 
You're not with the delusions, the drinking, the smoking, the third parties, the sex, the pays, or whatever the fuck. We have palm tree stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance. And flexibility. Now somebody, yes, you see? Seduction. Somebody's easily seduced. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third-party interference. That's why that palace of wands is in reverse with the judgment. And hate. Somebody's being judged for their actions, the way they keep repeating the same patterns with the nine of wands just over and over. We have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving, or receiving affection, falling in love in the reverse. Yeah, somebody falls in love when somebody blows them kisses or pays them attention or be is a little nice to them. Now somebody's realizing they got to come out of that with kisses in reverse and seduction. They were being seduced or something like that. Like somebody, I don't know. Yeah, this could have been with a soulmate connection. So I feel like somebody ruined a twin flame connection for a soulmate connection. Okay. But as I always say, we have several soulmates in life. That does not mean that they're meant to go anywhere. Sometimes they come in to teach you certain things. Okay? They come in to teach you certain things. Not always to be in your life. So take it for what it is. The golden mirror. Yes, yeah, self-observed narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. I feel like somebody was love bombing someone. Or playing on them in whatever way that is. Yeah, I like you. Someone likes you. Yeah, there was flirting and all this. Somebody could even been married. You never want you you have to watch people's characters. If there, yeah, there's twin flame. If somebody is married and they're flirting with you, what makes you think that they wouldn't do that to you if you was with them? What makes you think that they don't do it all the time? I feel like somebody here just don't get it, man. We have twin flame, okay, yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, couple, and compliment each other in love call, okay? Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know, okay? And then we have the snake here, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman, that was in reverse. So now this other person is cut out because somebody sees something for what it is. And now somebody wants to, yeah, lightning. I told you, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. I feel like somebody's like awoken, like awaken, like what the fuck was I thinking or doing? I feel like something, it just hit somebody. But just like with this judgment and hangman, somebody is all of a sudden seeing something in a different way. Okay? Yeah, now some, this twin flame is going to call you. Yeah, mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationship, reflect our wounds. And I feel like somebody was dealing with like a mirrored soulmate. But it was like a false one. It was somebody that it was a lot of seduction and seducing going on and flirting and all this. But it wasn't what it was. Okay, period. It's just not what it is. Yeah, I opened the deck heart with the key. Welcome in love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together and perfect. That's clarifying the twin flame and love call. Okay, yeah, yeah, healthy cho choices in reverse. Making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, and being happier. Somebody doesn't make good choices when it comes to stuff. Somebody is easily seduced with a seduction card and tricked seven of cups in all of that. They're easily, they're easily able to do that. Separation or be done on. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. So somebody wants to come out of this separation. They want to talk. Yeah, talking. Interested, conversing, more awaited message arrives talk okay i feel like somebody's looking at your photos just reminiscing watching you looking at your photos your uploads or whatever because somebody knows they fucked up here they just this is clown man it's like grow the fuck up it's a turn off it really is yeah separation coming out again in the river sadness missing you thinking somebody wants to come out of this separation they've had some kind of lightning some kind of epiphany or awakening yeah healing heart healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction and then hammer in the reverse. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive persistence, working on it. So we do hammer in reverse. Something may not be rebuilt here. It's probably a missed opportunity. There was too many lies, secrets, and betrayal here. Healing heart. Somebody has healed from this heartbreak with the star. They're, or they're healing now. You see how she's sewing her heart back together? Somebody is healing and moving on. It says not today, not dealing, avoid conversation, call person boundaries and still angry. Somebody does not want to deal, man. Yep, coffee cup in reverse. Okay, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship is in reverse. It's over. Yeah, heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, something's over. Somebody does not want to relive this because somebody just does not trust a motherfucker. Let's get one from here. This was a long reading. 
Okay, long reading. Yeah, children popped out, but that gave me an energy of just a childish person. You might be very immature. Somebody's going to miss out on a lot as, to due to their immaturity. Okay? We have attraction. Okay? You you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Somebody's easily seduced by attractive motherfuckers. They don't even have to be that attractive. They just don't give a fuck. We have healing family issues in reverse. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Somebody can have issues with their parents as well. Yeah, free yourself. Okay? It's time to take back control of your life. It's time to free yourself from... These 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 childhood wounds and attachments and shit and, and all that mother issues and wounds and all that. And then we have this could be the one in reverse. You've already met the romantic partner you see. Yeah. Somebody thought somebody was the one. They're not. And you have new love. So you have a new love here. OK. And trust. And you can trust this new love. All right. You can let go of control. Um, um, you says let go of. Let go of control issues and you can trust this new love that's coming in. OK, because whatever this was, somebody, somebody going to see they they, they going to see. OK, just period. So those are your messages. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share and follow. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.